the JAMA Network. I am Gaetan Desley. I am professor of pulmonary medicine at the University of Reims in France. Coil treatment is a new technology which uh, uh, is developed to induce lung volume reduction in patients with severe emphysema. It has to be said that so far the effects of the treatments uh, which are available are very limited in severe emphysema. So it was very important to assess the efficacy, the safety, the cost and the cost effectiveness of this new technology in patients with severe emphysema. Severe emphysema was defined on the analysis of the CT scan and was also defined on the results of the pulmonary function test. And all the patients received pulmonary rehabilitation before inclusion in the study. We included 100 patients in this study. 50 patients were treated by lung volume reduction coil treatment and 50 patients were treated by medical treatment only. All the patients were followed up for 6 and 12 months. The main measurement for the outcomes were the exercise capacity measured by the 6 minute walk test. We also measured pulmonary function tests and we assessed the quality of life of the patients measuring by the St. George Respiratory Questionnaire. What we have seen is that in the COIL group, 36% of the patients improve the 6 minute walk test by at least 54 meters compared to 18% in the control group. And that was statistically significant. We also measured the pulmonary function test at 6 and 12 months in both groups. And what we have seen is that there was a significant improvement in the force expiratory volume at one second by 11% at 6 and 12 months in the coal group compared to the control group. For the residual volume, there was a decrease by 7% at 6 and 12 months in the coil group compared to the control group. Regarding the quality of life, we have seen at both 6 and 12 months a significant improvement of the St. George Respiratory Questionnaire. This improvement and the difference between the coil group and the control group was of 13 points at 6 months and a little bit more than 10 points at 12 months. For safety, there was no more severe adverse events in the coil group compared to the control group. However, it has to be said that this treatment is associated with a relatively high short-term cost. We definitely need data at five years to be able to assess the durability of the effect of this treatment and the cost and the cost effectiveness of this technology. All the patients included in this study will be followed up for five years and the patients included in the control group will be treated by cold treatment in a crossover study.